It's 623. How did five high school kids from right here in mid-Michigan in Saginaw help discover two shipwrecks in one of the most treacherous of waters within the Great Lakes? Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Good morning. We have Russ Green here with us today and one of the students, Ty... Taria. Taria, that's <laughs> right. I asked you like twice. <laughs> Taria, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, we have a video and I kind of want to show a little bit of that first as we're getting over and maybe you can talk over it a little bit mm -hmm. for us. So let's, let's take a gander. There's no audio. Okay, so uh, Russ, I guess just uh, kind of start out with, I know this was a, was a big project ship hunt, so kind of talk about how it started and kind of get into it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Sony Intel were interested in sort of marketing some computers, and they wanted to do it around a shipwreck theme, and some of the best shipwrecks in the world are right here in the Great Lakes in Lake Huron. So they came to Thunder Bay, the National Marine Sanctuary, recruited five great students, and we literally went out in Lake Huron and looked for a shipwreck. That's great. Wait, have a little bit of audio. Let's turn it up a little bit. He was going to do something out of the box, something different, something that people don't normally do. I'm a small town guy. I've never done something this big. I thought this would be a cool experience to learn things beyond my horizon. Oh, you got something right in front of you. Hey, you guys see that? What are those? That's it. So you didn't actually dive into the waters. You used technology to discover these shipwrecks. Yes. Uh, talk about the experience. I know it's probably bringing back memories for you. How was it? Yes, the experience was absolutely amazing. I never experienced something that was so breathtaking, and it was a really, it was really inspiring. How were the students chosen, Russ? You got there was an essay. Yeah, well, um, my, my counselor told me about it, and she said it was a statewide casting call, and they were looking for five high school students that may be interested in something like this. So first we had to um, submit um, an essay application. Wonderful. And then once that process was done, we had to do Skype interviews. And then after Tons that... Tons of things. <laughs> um, so it ended up being five of you from Saginaw. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. amazing. And you guys discovered the schooner MF Merrick mm -hmm. and the steel freighter Aturia. Utraria. 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 Yeah. Wow, that's mm -hmm. just amazing. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk more about it coming up later, but um, these are these are brand new discoveries, right, Russ? They are. Yep, mm -hmm. right here in northern Michigan, right off of Alpena. Yep. And how many shipwrecks in the Great Lakes? Do you uh, thousands, hundreds. Yeah, please. tens of thousands for sure. <laughs> yeah. I know my husband's a big shipwreck fanatic, so I, I have to listen to it all the time at home, mm -hmm. but it's just fascinating. I can't wait to talk to you guys a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But first, I'll check in with Kevin. He's got our forecast.